If you are flying through Fort Lauderdale Airport, check out this video. arrived in Fort Lauderdale. Here is La Familia Tacos and Tequila, Fifth and Sunset. There's Tech on the Go and CNN Newsstand. That's where we got off. The, this is a new terminal. 8, 83 to 87. There's also a burger fry at the end. We might go there on our flight back. A couple of nice uh, new restrooms. It's all of our luggage here and a giant screen. You can check out all the flights that go out. But I can see Southwest, Silver, United, Allegiant, Bahamas Air and Frontier leaving from this terminal. I just showed Isa that these bathrooms at the airport are severe weather shelter with a tornado. Right Isa? So there's a sign here for B and C gate. Alia, we have not seen this before. Look at this beautiful space they have created. Yeah, you don't need a lounge if you have a nice place to hang out here. Uh, they covered this whole window, so no plane spotting, but I'll show you in that opening upcoming. These are the A gates over there. I can see Southwest behind is Frontier's tail. That was the plane we just got off of. The A gates at Fort Lauderdale are beautiful. New floors, new high ceilings, play area for the kids. And here is the A1 and also the A2 gates. Another glass opening where you can see the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport site. So when we come back, we'll try to explore this airport a little bit more. But for now, we're gonna head out. So you come out, that's the main entry, and then you walk up to the rental car area. hours later we are heading back to Fort Lauderdale Airport. We will show you what our experience is going through security and the terminal. We are at the airport, we're gonna head into the terminal. To the terminal. We're flying on Frontier, so for us, from the rental car, you just take this bridge. But if your terminal is two, three, four, you have to take a shuttle bus on level three. So I guess one positive of traveling on Frontier or Southwest, car rental, and then you just walk over to the terminal. Terminal one, you have Alaska, Allegiant, Bahamas Air, Frontier, Silver, Southwest, United, Western Air, and WestJet. And this is the bridge that you take. We're gonna go up to ticketing now. Look for Frontier Airlines. Check out that giant mural uh, by Guy Harvey. We just love little details like that on airports. There's a lot of these model airplanes hanging uh, from the ceiling. Next to United is Silver and then Frontier Airlines. Look at this. How cool is that? Here are the machines. We're gonna go check in. Alright, so Frontier uh, backdrop is here. Uh, we all have electronic passes. Uh, this was where you can tag your bags. So now we're gonna head to security. We'll pick you back up afterwards. You pass through security. Those are the sea uh, gates. That's Hazanisa getting a 6 a.m. anti ends uh, pretzel. And the A and B gates are on that so side. This is Margaritaville. We got stores, Fifth and Sunset, Mac, restrooms. 
good services to enjoy some. Please report to gate C9 at this time. So these are the C gates, that's where Allegiant is. And if I pan over, these are the B gates for Southwest, all connected to this new terminal. Kids just finished eating uh, Auntie Anne's pretzels. Alia, what was the total bill? Fourteen, fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars for two pretzels. And two sauces. And two sauces. Well, it's crazy, but I think it's not that far off from the mall too. I, I've noticed, like you go to NTN's and it's like 12, 15 bucks. But we were just sitting here and doing some plane spotting. United, Apple Delta, Spirit, and our favorite silver. So we can see B gates right there on the other side are the A gates that you go through here. But look how nice this is. You got Las Solas up there. All right, so we're gonna get up, walk down to gates A and B. All right, we actually ended up spending way too much time here. Our flight is boarding in about 40 minutes. Now there are B gates, that's where Southwest was, and A gates. All right, so we got the information, Starbucks. So those are the B and gates, then, but we're gonna go in this direction. Starbucks, La Familia, Burger Fi on A, and all this on B. We walked here when we arrived, express walkway to gates A3 to A7. All right, let's go check this out. This is called Cloudscape by Walken Volcano Glue. It's a sculpture from 2017. It's an interactive art for designed for children between two and 12. This is an artwork for kids and the kids are liking it. They're going through the clouds. See, I love when airports uh, install cool stuff. You know what this reminds me of? Amsterdam Airport uh, by McDonald's had a had a this puffy plane that kids were going in and out of. I think all airports should be like this. Look at how wide this space is. Man, so nice. So this is the space we saw when we first landed and we were walking by. Um, we were just saying we should have like hung out here and ate the pretzels, but we like plane spotting too. That's the big FLL sign in the back. So you can see that's where the car rental returns are. But what an incredible space that they have created here. Let's head over to gate A3. It's a pretty small gated area, right? Just five, six, seven gates here. That's your La Familia that we saw coming in, the restrooms and burger fires all the way at the end. La Familia. La Familia, yeah. Here's my dad walking around with Isa. He's got both luggage. Dad's walking back and forth. Looks like he's enjoying himself. Love airports, again, with high ceilings, good lighting, newer terminals. Look at the ceiling in La Familia. Okay, so that's the CNN newsstand. It's actually nice uh, to see something other than Hudson newsstand. Ooh, wild protein chips. By the way, one thing I notice, because of the high ceiling, when the planes are landing, you can actually see them land. Can I get you fries or burger? Come on. It's only 6 a.m. Let's have some burgers and fries. Look. Hudson News also. So you got CNN newsstand, you also have Hudson. Here's what I don't like about this place. Couple of things. You cannot lie down and sleep. I don't like that. I don't like that these gates A6 and A7 is blocked. There's a wall there. But the cool thing they did do, and maybe there's a logistical reason, but those are windows and you can see the planes flying through it as it lands on the runway. So that's kind of cool. That's unique. I've not seen that done before. And maybe it's the time of the morning that we are traveling like there's not a lot of crowd here overall so, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up let's get you a burger yes. or a sandwich and oh. fries All of them. four dollars for fries Bur burgers are 30 oh 976 that's pretty cheap and egg sandwiches 699 so that's a pretty good deal
Okay, so guess what? We got a burger for breakfast. A veggie fi burger from Burger Fi. I had to pause to make sure I was saying this correctly. Fries and a Coke, and our bill was $19, which, to be frank with you, is not a bad deal as long as our burger looks like this. Is this the veggie? Veggie? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. You can take it. Burger fry. Thank you. Mm. Ooh. Looks good. Fresh lettuce. Oh, looks very good. That now let's compare good. this with that. Oh, I think That's ours. Good. That's pretty good. Ours cool. looks even better. Yeah. Yeah, how was burger fight? Oh, it was amazing. Right. I think one of the best veggie burgers ever. I can't wait to come back to Fort Lauderdale Terminal 1. Until next time, bye for now. I think there's a burger fight there. It's it's 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. We're not having burgers, but... Hey, yes, there's this really cool thing at the store, at a store, and it's 10 cents. Do you have a time so I can buy it? No, but now I do. On the bench, so you can... Can we go to 